Hi everyone, Michelle here with a super impromptu video. Literally just decided to take out my camera now after work and make this video. So today I really wanted to sit down and talk with you all about something that I've been struggling with over the past few days and I've struggled with quite a bit throughout my adult life. I've never made a full dedicated video to this though and that is insulin resistance and the menstrual cycle. So I've definitely mentioned this before a few times in Q&As that I've done on my channel, but I've never actually like sat down and made a dedicated video about this. And I've had a really hard time with this over the past two days, and it's taken a lot of energy out of me physically and emotionally. So I felt like it was time to share kind of what I experience with my menstrual cycle with all of you. And I know this video might seem like it's a bit TMI. So if you feel uncomfortable watching this video or you're really not interested in period talk then feel free to click out anytime. I was working all day today and as I was working I just had all these thoughts rushing through my head and I thought I need to share this I need to make a video about this so I apologize if this video is a bit all over the map I'm going to try to express myself as eloquently as I can for this being a super last-minute impromptu video but here we go so over the past few days I have been experiencing a lot of insulin resistance I've just been hovering in the high for I would say two days in a row now where no matter what I do I just cannot get my blood sugar down so initially I put myself on a temporary basal on my insulin pump so I had it on 120% because typically before I get my period that works okay for me. It did not work. I was still running super high. I started to feel kind of sick and lethargic because I just constantly had high blood sugars. So then guess what? I upped it to 130. No, I upped it to 140%. No, guess what I ran it all day today? 190% temporary basal. That is what my body required. I am now finally back in range after two days, but I figured out I needed a lot more insulin all of a sudden. So I'm on day 21 of my cycle. And for me, when I am going through my menstrual cycle, I really keep track of it because I find that I can correlate my insulin resistance to the day of the cycle that I'm on. So typically around day 20, I will start to become more insulin resistant. And this makes sense because on those days of your cycle, you have the highest level of progesterone and that hormone is really associated with insulin resistance. So it makes sense that you would get the insulin resistance at that point in your cycle. With that being said, this really varies from cycle to cycle. And this is where I think I'm a bit different because sometimes I'll have a cycle where I have no insulin resistance at all. But then sometimes I will have an extreme insulin resistance around day 20 on my cycle. So I never really know what to expect going from cycle to cycle, but this cycle is probably the most insulin resistance I have ever seen in my life. I don't think I've ever run at 190% before, but I'm so thankful that I finally found the amount of insulin that my body needs. And then for me, when my period finally does start, I get the exact opposite, where sometimes I actually need to go on a temporary basal to decrease my insulin. So that's also something to watch out for. I know a few other people I know living with type 1 diabetes also experience that, that they end up going low once their period arrives. So I actually polled people on Instagram today because I was curious if other people vary this much from cycle to cycle or if they just experience the same amount of insulin resistance every cycle. Between 70 to 80% of people have the same thing as me where it really varies from cycle to cycle. So one of my tips for being a menstruating person with type 1 diabetes is to track your cycle because I found that that does really help. I use the app called Flow. I think it's free or at least I use a free version and that way you know exactly what day of your cycle you're on so if you are starting to experience insulin resistance you can look at your app and say oh yeah I'm on day 20 that's typically when this could start so I better bump up my basal rates or really keep an eye on my blood sugar some other things that I've been doing during this time of insulin resistance is just drinking a ton of water I always have a full glass of water on my desk at work because I just want to stay super hydrated 
hydrated to keep my blood sugars down. I've been going for many walks, a walk before work, a walk during my lunch hour, a walk after work, just trying to stay active and move my body. And overall, just keeping a positive mindset, remembering that this is just a phase, it will pass. Yes, it does suck that we have to deal with this on top of everything else with type 1 diabetes, but this is just how it is. We need to just do our best and try to recognize patterns when we can, even though there's not always a pattern. But yeah, those are just my two cents on insulin resistance and the menstrual cycle. Hopefully this video made some sort of sense and is helpful or relatable to some of you. Please leave a comment down below if you feel comfortable sharing what your blood sugars are like during your menstrual cycle. Do your blood sugars go high before your period? Do they go low before your period? What happens when you finally get your period? Let me know in the comments below and I'm sure it would be super helpful for other people who menstruate with type 1 diabetes to read the comments as well. And let me know if you want more videos like this because I'm down to do some more sit down and chats. Thanks so much for tuning in to my after work rant. I will see you in the next video. Bye!